I got something uh, something crazy to talk about. I tweeted it out about uh, an hour ago or so when uh, when I first found it, and my friends, I'm flabbergasted. I'm beside myself. I went down such a deep rabbit hole. I don't even know what the hell to say. I I, I I'm off the shits. And if you didn't see, I tweeted out the first subpoena via an NFT had been served. And this story is fucking insane. And it takes a couple of twists, a couple of turns. There's a couple of things that you guys got to know about. So check this out. JKM, what's up, my girl? Let's go. <laughs> we got the squad in here now. Let's go. All right. So this NFT subpoena, right? Check this shit out, y'all. There's a crypto exchange, much like uh, Coinbase, much like um, fucking everything we talked about in the past. You know what crypto exchange is. Okay, this one's called LCX. If you haven't heard of LCX, they're, they're, they're a decent exchange for sure. Well, they were just a part of a hack, right? Um, they were a part of an $8 million hack, $8 million. Now, they found this out. They were like, holy shit, we're getting rugged. What the fuck do we do? Holy cannoli, things are bad. So investigation bureaus from the U.S., Liechtenstein, which I would say Germany, if we have any German viewers, hey, let me know, shout out, uh, Ireland and Spain. Those three countries got together and they were able to track these laundered funds, this $8 million via a crypto mixer called Tornado Cash. Okay. I said, if you're like me, I said, what the fuck is a crypto mixer? I've never, I, huh? A who? So Tornado Cash, I start to read about this shit. Let me straighten up my papers, find these notes, and I figure out what a crypto mixer is. Based on definition, a crypto mixer is a program that mashes up specific amounts of crypto in private pools before sending it out to an intended user. So picture, if you will, you and 10 friends get together and you all have a $100 bill and you toss that $100 bill in a box. Shake it all up together. You open up the box and then everybody else, everybody takes out a hundred dollar bill again. Everybody has their hundred dollars, but nobody knows whose was whose, right? Unless you wrote down the serial number, all that it's pretty fucking hard to be able to know whose is whose. With a crypto mixer, you and 10 friends or 10 other ETH users throw your ETH into this pile, i.e., being the little holding tank, if you will, when you are purchasing or selling or whatever you're doing. And then this mixer puts it all together in the right amount to be sent in different areas. And then it shoots it out. But the part is that's different from our IRL box is that your tokens stay connected to you. So whatever it decides to mash up and send out left, right, and center there's always a trail. So anybody who thinks you can just launder money through Bitcoin or Ethereum or Solana, it's not possible. If that's your argument, or, oh, it's fraud. It's never going to be possible. So many people are fraudulent. No, I'm sorry. It's it's just not. It's just not how it is. So please stop that argument because it is not a damn argument. Now that being said, that being said, um, the best part about this is is that they caught the bastards. So after they dove deep into Tornado Cash, uh, there's just so much going on in here. I can't even fucking keep it straight. They dove into Tornado Cash and they found out that like 500 ETH was, was floating around. So they froze that 500 ETH, ETH because they were able to find the hacker's wallets through Tornado Cash via that findings and yada, 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 whatever. They were they were able to get a court order and then via that court order they will after freezing it then they were able to contact law attorneys or law lawyers whatever you whatever the correct term is i'm sorry i'm not uh, i'm not that kind of a guy but I, i'm not that smart i don't know what the right yeah i'm just not that smart uh but us law firm holland and knight sent a pre-trial temporary injunction to all of the hackers' wallets as an NFT. 
So they literally sent a fucking temporary restraining order, a subpoena. You got served via a service token, a service NFT. And the best part, the best part that I failed to mention, none of LCX's users and none of their security was impacted. Since it was a direct attack on them, they were able to follow it all the way back down the blockchain and keep every single person safe. That is, we, we just talked about it. What are NFTs doing to change our lives forever? Bang. Bang. Right there. Can you believe that shit? I lost my mind. I absolutely lost my mind. 